Tell us after missing the first two games of the season, she got back into the lineup. Really, you've been a spark for this team, whether it's scoring or, or dishing the ball off. So what's been working for you so far on this start of the season? I want to say my pull-up and my floater and my patience really is really getting me open to get my players and um, my bigs a lot of open opportunities because the probe is one thing that's bold in my locker and my position coach makes that very clear. Uh, would you say that's some maturity in your game too? Because seeing SEC teams for three years in a row now, this is your third time getting into the conference play, you're starting to figure things out a little more. Would you say that's true? Very true, because it's like the more experience you have, the more easier the game comes to you because you already know what to expect. So you had Arkansas uh, to start SEC play. It didn't really go the way you wanted it to. What are some things you can learn, even in a loss, to start the SEC season? Keep pushing forward. You got to have short-term memory because if you do well in a loss, then the next game you're just going to be thinking. You just got to play. I talked to Dina a few weeks ago about the, the big play and uh, having someone like Promise Taylor down low at 6'5", and now Shelby Gibson, who's come on the past couple games, two career highs for her. What's it like playing with things like that? It's exciting because it's like you already know what to expect from him. And watching him practice so hard and practice is like in a game, it's like another practice, but you just got people watching. So now South Carolina in your guys' house this week. What kind of a challenge is that? How exciting is it for you to go up against the reigning national champs? Well, I look at it like it's a, another ordinary team, but we got to come in ready to play. It's exciting having one of the top teams in the country come in your gym and try to protect the pavilion at that. It's going to be a challenge, but I think we got it. Um, so what's it going to take from this team? You know, one of the giants of women's college basketball coming into the pavilion. What's it going to take to maybe knock them out? Uh, us sticking together, uh, sticking to our defensive fundamentals and the game plan, and I think we're going to be fine.